what is the crack lads we're back with some i don't know what that intro was sorry lads sorry about that but we're back with some dream team chronicles we're in division sevens we've got a lot to talk about we've got a lot to discuss and this is the squad that we're going to be using i'm not going to be using this squad going forward but i am going to be testing out this 532 and i also want to test out salaba bastoni Kimmich right back Modric in midfield but I've kind of gone for like the A team so all these players and all the players on my bench are either A form or else they're a legend I'm only limiting myself to three to four legends but we are going to probably be doing an AC Milan past and present that is what a lot of you guys seem to want to to see and then I'm going to pick a squad I'm going to mix the squads so I'm going to have two different squads I'm going to have kind of like a, a really good squad where I mix in different players like people were asking me to try Foden they were asking me to try Sané um of Timber brought back onto the squad um so i'm going to be mixing in different different players and stuff and then we're going to have like our ac milan past and present as well so we're going to get straight into a match hopefully we are going to be playing this formation with a 5-3-2 and then we are going to be using the sub tactic of a 5-2-3 i'm going to be testing that out i want to see how compact i can be at the back i don't really struggle uh with defending most of the time but i've been seeing a lot of people complain about stuff so we're going to have a quick chat about the you know the current actual state of the game whether i'm enjoying it whether i'm not and we're going to see how i get on with division seven so i'll be back at kickoff talk to you in a second lads all right let's so we're into a game we are playing against let's see as roma so he's using a 4-3-3 he's got two of the three players with the nominating contract he's got a fairly decent squad lads i'll be honest and the, what I'm going to be looking out for here today is if I can actually, you know, bombard him from the wings with this formation. Because I'm going to have to manually initiate a lot of this. So we'll, we'll see who's up. Uh, and I might do a couple of changes. We'll put Salah in up top and switch him to an SS. Um, that won't change things too much. Put Haaland there through the middle. But I'm going to have to bombard forward with Kimmich and Roberto Carlos. So they're going to be two areas of the pitch that i really look at sane can come on as well we've got ruben diaz there actually i might start ruben diaz instead of bastoni let's see because diaz is probably one of the most recommended players i would use at the moment let me see what his defensive engagement is yeah i mean he looks like a beast man he looks like a beast but we'll start bastoni we'll start bastoni because i haven't played with him yet and i've been hearing good things about him so we're going to go straight into it and hopefully we can get a win here in division seven I've been reading a lot of comments. I've been talking to a lot of people. Um, some people are loving the game. Some people have uninstalled it and are not playing it anymore. I don't know, man. I mean, I thought in my initial uh, like impressions of eFootball 2023, I thought, oh, it's going on my hair, man. I thought that it actually felt a lot, a lot better than V1.1.4. Um, but like that the dribbling was back in a little bit and i've been finding the dribbling quite good but again i had only played a couple of games and then i had talked to a couple of people and they had said that the gameplay felt a little bit more chaotic again um but to me i felt like my initial impressions that i had a lot of control in it and i think of what i think what they've actually done with the balance is uh is kind of obviously they've they've made the defending a little bit too op but i think that's only because the defending like is very kind of i will i won't say noob friendly but there does seem to be a little bit more of like a balance going on with how you defend and how you attack and so oh that's a bad shot or good block good awareness there um of how you actually like get up and down the pitch now rather than doing the same kind of tried and tested things that had worked not just in eFootball 2022 but also in uh, pez 2021 you know what i mean so there's a lot of tactics that were working in pez 2021 that were working in eFootball 2022 originally and obviously that's not good you know what i mean because you need learn you need to learn new ways to play in the game and uh obviously you know there are better skilled players than me out there that are struggling with the game as well but i just oh that was a bit that was a bit nice all right i'm going to concentrate here for two seconds and get an early goal if i can lovely movement oh muddy that was a bad, bad movement there. Get back. Lovely lads. Defensive line is solid. Oh, it's a bad ball. That was my own fault. This guy is playing a little bit of ball now. Madi. My Modric. This is where I want Lukaku to be stopped. Carlos, first game of the day as well, lads. So I am a little rusty. I'm going to try a bit of possession now. Bring my players into the game. Kimmy. 
See, I'm not getting much. Well, I am getting space on the wings, to be fair. Even though Salah is picking up that slot now and he's meant to be playing up, for, up front. There's the overlap. Go on, Carlos. Driven. Great ball, Allen. Oh, he went with his foot and he should have went with the head. Nice play, though. But yeah, I do think that a lot of the stuff that was working in when he football 2022 originally like released, I think they've kind of toned it down and there's a new kind of way of playing now, which obviously is frustrating for some people that have spent a long time learning skills, a long time learning how to break down defenses. And, you know, when that sort of stuff doesn't work, it can be frustrating. And I do think that the defensive side of the game it still needs to be toned down a little bit. I mean, I'm always going to be the one that says, like, because of just how I play, I want it to be that if I make a mistake, whether I'm going forward with the ball and I get caught in the counter-attack from a misplaced pass or a wrong uh, a wrong choice or whatever, I, I don't mind being punished. I have no problem being punished, you know, even if, um, if it's a little unfair. I have no problem being punished. What frustrates me is when I feel like I don't have control over the over the pitch you know what I mean over my players that's kind of what frustrates me and I just feel like even in this patch like in with the with the update I just feel like there is a little bit more control there this guy's obviously sitting off me and uh that's a good block Koulibaly we've read it we've read it we've read it oh no get in there Makalele put him down holding the ground oh out wide Modric you've got the range beautiful Haaland's gone, lads. Haaland's gone. Haaland. With the touch. Oh, brilliant defending, but Haaland might have the strength. He doesn't have the finish, though. Chasing shadows at the moment, but Makalele says no. Enough of that messing around. Enough of that messing around. Gets back, though. Now. Now, Salah. Lovely. That's the mistakes I'm talking about, lads. See that? That's a mistake from him. He can have no complaints there. Oh, Salah. That was a desperate one. I'm not used to playing with Salah, lads. He is a different kind of... Different player than, than what I'm used to up front, such as Romario, who's more direct. Hello, Bastoni. Read it. Salah. Oh, what a pass. Haaland's on. He's got the strength. Haaland! There's one. I thought I missed it, lads. There's one from Haaland. Box him up. Great pass. Haaland. Oh, it's a super goal. That's what we're talking about, lads. And that's what I... I don't know, man. I just feel like I've loads more control. Like, that auto-cancel in the box there to slow down the play, wait for Haaland to make the run in, and it happens in a split second, but... I just feel like I've way more control. Is this guy after quitting? I think he is. I feel like I've way more control to do what I'm wanting to do. Like this auto, and then wait, up into the area, and then into the corner. Like, I just wasn't scoring goals like that in V1.1.4. I just, I don't know. Like that auto cancelled there with Salah. Left foot, beautiful ball back in. And then like a fish out of water. He just leaps up and bangs it in. And Haaland is going to meditate on that one because that was an unbelievable goal. 2-0, lads. We should, be, we should be getting the win for this one. All right, lads. We're back into another match. And this guy now is going to give us a really good game, I think. He's got a really good God squad. Kimmich, Modric, De Bruyne, Lewandowski, Mane, Mbappe, Bastoni, Diaz, Cancelo, and Saka left back. So I think he will possibly be playing uh, a different, slightly different formation with the sub-tactic. I don't see him leaving Saka left back there. So he is playing Saka left back, Les. It's very unusual. I have never seen anybody play Saka left back. He's trying a couple of tricks and flicks. I'm building a wall at the back, lads. Oh, that's super. Oh, what a save from Donnarumma. That's super, super play from him, lads. Class goal it would have been. Beautiful double touch. I'm going to let him watch that. That was unbelievable. Absolutely left me sitting there. Maldini got absolutely schooled. What a save from Donnarumma, lads. He's back in my good graces. Passage of play there looked brilliant. That's when the game shines. It does shine bright, lads. I will say that. Oh, Modric, you're nasty. Neymar! 
Oof, what a bit of play, lads. Modric with the beautiful dribbling. I think the dribbling has improved for the basic dribbling, like the little deft touches and stuff. I feel like I'm able to get control, like keep possession of the ball a lot better now. I don't know, is it just me? I'm off, am I? Yeah, just off. Take it. I'll take it long. Just gonna hoop it up. Haaland. Get on the end of it. Lovely. Now, Modric. Pick him out. Square it. Oh! Magico! Magico! What a goal! Good space, lads. Again, this is the space we're talking about. Yes, we get a bit of luck. It's that man, Modric. Modric, oh, we get a bit of luck. Makalele, get back. Modric throws him off the ball. Now you're gone, Neymar. You're gone, Neymar. Haaland. Haaland. Oh. oh, that's brilliant, lads, from Saliba. He's on. He's on. Haaland! We're back. We're back playing our brand of football, lads. The wing out wide play. I mean, I'm enjoying it. What more can I say? I mean, you're seeing me here. You're seeing me enjoy it. You're seeing the way I'm playing. I'm literally able, I'm literally like doing everything I want defensively. I've so much control over the defensive side of the game and my tactics are working. Like, I'm enjoying it, man. Bastoni. Bastoni! Haaland! Makalele! <laughs> What's he pinting at his head for? Oh, no. How is that a free out? Like, oh, man, I have to rewind that back. How is that a free out? I do not understand that. Ah, oh, it's brilliant defending. Boom! What a win, lads. 3-0. That was against a very tough, very good opponent. But that five at the back, lads, it gives so much problems because you just are, you have so much options at the back when you lose the ball or when you're defending the ball. But man, that was probably one of my best sit-down sessions of eFootball 23 to date. Ah, oh, Ruben Diaz is an absolute monster as well, lads. He's unbelievable. 3-0 we got for the first game. 3-0 we got for that. We'll take it. We need another win for promotion into Division 6. But that was an incredible match. I am enjoying it. Let me know what you guys are thinking. It seems to me, right, genuinely... It seems to me that the way to play eFootball 2023, and I'm extremely lucky because I do play this way, is out wide. That is the way I think it was the same in V1.0. If you go back and look at some of the gameplay that I was putting up in my first Dream Team Chronicles, and if you play out wide, literally overlaps, space, out wide, it's kind of shifted away from the, you know, the touch and go, the pass and move, the one touch kind of... Um, you know, double touch kind of heavy featured gameplay. That's just my personal opinion. As I said, there are some guys that are absolute demons at the game. I mean, you look at uh, number two there in the rankings, Mednasa, and you look at Oral Daniel as well, number three, um, and Arda, obviously, number one. Like, they, they're absolutely unbelievable players, right, that are able to adapt to different, different ways of playing the game. But I do think that when you get used to playing a game for so long, it's very hard to change how you play it. And that's why I found it extremely difficult with V1.1.4, which was all about middle, central play. No build up on the wings. It wasn't rewarded. And you get absolutely destroyed on the wings when you lose the ball on the wings. And then you get caught on the counter-attack. Whereas with this, I feel there's more control. I think that the defensive side of the game it's so easy now that good defenders are going to be beastly defenders and bad defenders are going to be good defenders. So it's just about breaking that pattern, whichever you can, with the ebb and flow of it. But yeah, lads, I mean, I've been enjoying it. Um, I don't know what else to say. Let me know what you guys think and uh, we will go from there. And uh, yeah, that was a really, really enjoyable game and yeah, a really good game. So I will talk to you guys in a bit. Peace.